I <laughs> Getting to the end now, we discovered that Akere waterfront was popular. That was the only route that we um, uh, knew uh, from the Benin Republic down to Nigeria. But we discovered another, our marine unit discovered uh, nine illegal routes uh, in that axis where people have been using it to either uh, deal uh, with some other product, uh, smuggling and all that. So we have uh, also discovered that and we, we have deployed our men there too uh, to ensure that um, such things did not happen. Because during the lockdown, uh, the government didn't want anybody to come in because we also don't know their, their health status. But they were using those illegal routes uh, to enter Nigeria. And that's, that was how we were able to detect them and then we blocked the road uh, using our own resources, the canoe and all that. So, we are still warning that uh, we know we are conscious of those routes and we are still managing the routes um, for uh, any eventuality uh, that uh, this time around uh, there's no way they don't have uh, any escape route. Do you have any message for the host communities? Well, the host community, you see, when we are talking about all these illegal delays in petroleum products and all that, people think it is because of uh, the issue of fuel alone. No, it is not. It is very, very dangerous to their environment as well. Now you are loading so many passengers with, with uh, PMS, I mean, with, petrol, uh, with uh, petroleum product. Like I said, if there's any spark, they will all get burnt and there will be no remedy. In fact, when you also mix water with uh, petrol, it, 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 I mean, it doesn't also have any effect when there is fire. Otherwise, uh, in fact, it will even be spreading the fire. So my advice is that they should be vigilant. When they see things like that, they should let us know. Uh, they shouldn't also let it happen because there's no way they will buy fuel in Nigeria or they will also steal fuel in Nigeria and take it to another country without them knowing because they will go through their, uh, their community, their villages. Beside that, we need to also investigate this particular one. Whether it is a stolen fuel, uh, whether it is a, a, a stolen product or whether they actually bought it from where. This, these are the, because we also have, have funders, uh, we also have bunkers. So we want to know the source of the fuel, one, two, to also know whether they acquire this legally or not. Then three, to also deal with the issue of whether they have permits. Of course, they, could, they wouldn't have also, they, they, of course, there's no permit for them to be carrying fuel in jerry cans. So it is dangerous. Uh, apart from economic loss, it can also lead to human loss. So community members should be vigilant. Thank you. Sir. Thank you.